here with Carla Garrick of the Free State Project. It's a pleasure, as always, to see Hi, you. Hey, thanks for having me. So you all just finished up your huge Pork Fest event. How did it go? We did. It was amazing. It really was. Uh, we had about 2,000 people who came. You know, we did camping. We had wonderful keynote speakers. We had Nick out from Reason. Jeff Tucker was there for the first time. He was rocking his bow tie <laughs> at a camping event, so he classed it up a little for us. Uh, we had Joel Salatin out, and we also had uh, Patrick Burn from Overstock.com for our Bitcoin community. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, Joe Salton is great, isn't he? Oh, uh, he's a wonderful speaker, really, and just an all-round super nice guy. Definitely. So, how how has Porkfest grown over time? Have you been surprised to see it grow, and is it just? so exciting to to watch it become what it has it, yes my little porcupine baby is growing up <laughs> um, you know I organized pork fest in 2009 and 2010 back then there were maybe like 600 people so to see it you know triple in size in just a few years has been really validating for the project itself you know we're in the last stretch we only need 4,000 more signatures then we'll trigger the move and you know we have over a thousand five hundred movers who are ready there and just seeing the successes with such a small number just makes me dream of what's to come. Sure, sure. Can you tell me about just from personal experience what are some of the issues you faced and also what are some of the most exciting successes you've dealt with so far in the in the process? Well the issues are usually people. <laughs> You know, of course. When when you're building a community, it, it can be tough sometimes. Um, Especially when you're trying to get them all around one like you know idea. One idea, you know, and but really the Free State Project is a big tent. We're you know pretty much from small L all the way to anarchists, and you know really want people to just be principled in in what they believe. That's really what it's about. In terms of successes, um, the Free State Project itself is really just bringing the people in. Once the participants are there, they do whatever they want. So on the electoral front, I would say, um, you know, we've worked to enshrine jury nullification. New Hampshire is the only state that has that. It's beautiful. Um, you know, we have uh, no knife laws now. We, um, we, you know, just uh, we cut the budget in 2010 by a billion dollars. It was a real cut. Um, and we're really excited, I think, the participants who work in the political process to see what's going to happen this election cycle, starting to build caucuses with different groups and all of that. Um, on the non-political front, you know, the outside the system stuff, we've seen, you know, fun stuff out of Keene, like the Robin Hooding, where they go and they pay parking meters. That's been pretty fun. Um, I just won my court case, you know, first appeals court case. So it's now, ladies and gentlemen, official that you are allowed to film police officers in public at night at a traffic stop, which apparently was a question. It is also police officers in New Hampshire now no longer have qualified immunity in cases like that, which basically means they were arguing um, that, you know, if ignorance of the law is what they tell us. Ignorance of the law is no excuse, except if you're the enforcer of the law, and then it's an absolute defense. And we broke that down so they can't hide behind qualified immunity going forward. And then in the free market arena, uh, we've had a lot of Bitcoin success. Uh, the Lama Sioux brothers, that's the first Bitcoin ATM in the world. They are two free staters who moved out from Israel and they're doing really well and we're seeing more businesses come in and we'd like to see more of that, more businesses, more investment, really build an incubator and really start to build the Yankee Hong Kong. Sure. So, I mean, so few people understand how bad their laws are. They just ignore them. They don't understand. I, I don't know. I just think it's ridiculous. So we were talking about the issues that you face internally. Of course, it's hard to deal with trying to get a lot of people unified around a vision and try to be civil with each other. But what kind of issues have you faced from the surrounding area, from the government of New Hampshire, or from the people of New Hampshire that may not want this big libertarian community moving in? Yeah, you know, uh, what's the famous saying? First they laugh at you, then they, you know, so I think we're starting to get to the then they fight you stage. Um, it's a small vocal progressive mi minority and, you know, honestly, I tend to think there may be eight of them, um, but you know they blog and they're loud. Um, they they don't like us uh, much. Um, they're. 
they don't understand us either. I, I, you know, I feel like with progressives, we have a lot of meeting ground on the social issues, and you know, if we can bring them around on the economic issues, that's that would be wonderful. Um, a lot of the locals love us. They actually see us as reinforcements. You know, there are a lot of people moving in from Massachusetts. We call them mass holes. They get there, they move because they want more favorable taxes, sure. and then they're like, "What? I have to take my stuff to the dump? No, I want to pay taxes for services." And it's like, no, you you either have the one or the other, right? And um, so, you know, a lot of the natives who've been there for a long time, and New Hampshire is actually quite a unique state. More than 60% of the people are from somewhere else. So, um, you know, they like to say, oh, you know, we're kind of carpet baggers, but really we're not. You know, I think something like 70, over 70% 70 of the House of uh, Representatives are from people who were born somewhere else. And so, you know, we're pioneers, we're the porcupine pioneers, and we're coming out. And, um, you know, I hope people will embrace us because we come in peace and, you know, we want to help make New Hampshire prosperous and wonderful and great place to live. Sure. Awesome. All right, Carla Garrick, thanks so much for being on. Uh, everybody who knows about the Free State Project, keep supporting it. If you don't, check it out. It's really cool. You're almost there. That's great. <laughs> thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.